Hi YouTube, this is Pen Weathers. This is the uh, second look at this uh, scratch build of this creamery building. So I've uh, got me paint can roof sorted. Uh, not that I'm advertising for Dulux, but uh, this was the tub that I had. So see, I've uh, cut those sections in, all glued on, and I think that has worked. Quite well looking good so what I intend to do is uh, get a coat of primer on this now I might just paint actually paint these but they've worked out nice and solid so it's made quite a quite a nice building so I gotta say thank you to a friend of mine for suggesting that this worked, uh, worked really well took a little bit of cutting in Obviously, with that sloping into that there, I had to round them off slightly so that it sat back in tight to the. Uh, don't know if you can see, but uh, to get it tight back to that. If it was a square cut, there was a gap each end, because obviously with that sloping down uh, each side, but I think that's worked quite well, and. Uh, I'll see if I can get a picture off of the building, but um, the picture I have got, they've since clad this front elevation. But what there will be along here, coming out to there, is like a sloping canopy along there. And a loading bay through uh, on this. And then I shall stick some pillars, possibly do that in brickwork, with just some loading bay doors looked I don't honestly know but it looked like that's where they loaded the um, milk churns to go into the creamery but uh, like I say I'll do a little load of bay but uh, we'll see if we can get this uh, sprayed up mask it up spray the roof up get some primer on it and then uh, we can go on with doing a bit more detail probably uh, fix the sliding doors in here sort out the roof and clad that uh, tower and then on top there's um, I don't know if it's just bear with me yeah on top of that tower there's uh, a window section to go on top of that so I'll say I'll get the roof done and uh, possibly have a look at that but we'll we'll have a look back again possibly tomorrow anyway bye for now Hi, hi everyone, we're back. Um, got the front, or oh, this back section done now. Got the loading bay put in here. In filled with brick. Just put a couple of uh, roller shutters in here. And then I've got, uh, got this uh, canopy on the back. I... Um, was going to put a bit more detail in there but uh, to be honest you're not going to see it where it's sitting but I thought we'd uh, put the old roller shutter doors in there on that uh, section and obviously we've given the roof a few coats of uh, grey paint and we'll uh, probably end up weathering that down but just to give you uh, a look at what that's looking like. The overall effect I think has worked really well. So uh, next bit I'm going to start on. There's a building that goes across the back. A little uh, what a foot possibly an office block. Which I'm going to attach that to the back. Uh, probably do that next. And then I shall look at doing the uh, tower there. And see whether we can... Uh, make the window section to go around the top of that but uh, we'll take a look once I get the office done well here we are another evening out the way just uh, made up this office uh, block done my usual uh, make my own windows and uh, not a lot else you can say about that it's filled in that bit got a little um, well a big fill tank to put across here with a bun wall around uh, do that next probably 
This is, uh, I would have thought, perhaps a boiler house. So put a flue up here and then possibly we'll run a little bit of fascia around. I've used a bit of um, wet and dry for the roof finishes on those two bits. And I've also cut out a bit of mount board just to make up like a fascia on the back of that. And through there. And like I say, make up the tank and the bum walls. And then I will look at uh, making a, a little enclosure. I've got four of these uh, tanks to go in probably do that next and then we'll have a look at that uh, tower all right got these uh, tanks uh, in situ now um, detailed up with a bit of pipe work obviously from the tanks into that tower um, made up the uh, there was like a block wall around so uh, got that done today so let's fill that bit in and made up this little bum wall and tank here. Now this was a download from Model Rail Scenery. Downloaded it and printed off. It's like a dirty uh, concrete block which I thought would be quite suitable for that. And I just had a bit of 4mm mount board made a little box up and obviously stuck that on the outside done it on quite well thicker than paper and a nice quality card and i just made them a bit longer and folded it over the top so at least you've got the joints going over on the inside of it so uh, it's starting to take shape getting a bit like it so that's the photograph i've had uh, where the tank was so a little bit of detail to do, put a flue up on that building, get that done. And then obviously that scene, that's what we're working from, so something like it. Not quite, but uh, modeler's license. It's making quite a big scene there now. So, so hopefully tomorrow we'll see if we can clad this tower in and get a roof through there. Um, and then we'll take another look. And there we are. Anyway, we'll see you later. Oh, hi everyone. Finally uh, got the main part of this uh, build done now. So obviously we finished off the tanks and the detail. Done this, uh, cladded the tower in. Made up a uh, window frame on the top there. So uh, that scene is starting to come together. It won't actually sit there. I'm going to put it back at a bit of an angle um, so you would be able to see the detail in there. And I've got a lot of detail in to do now. Um, there's some flues to come up through here, which was on the boiler house. Um, and really just set it in place. And add in a little bit of detail, some downpipes and gutter in, but uh, on the whole, it's worked out quite well. And that's taken a good solid week and a bit to do that. But uh, ah, quite pleased with that. It's worked in quite well. So there we are i'm going to end this video because i've probably waffled on far too much we'll get this uploaded and uh, we'll catch you again anyway thanks for watching and bye for now